Hi guys, my name is Kyle Porter and I'm a sales engineer here at Simba Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to connect Tableau to Cassandra using the Simba Cassandra ODBC driver. All right, so I have Cassandra running in a VM on my computer, um, and I've already inserted some sample data according to the quick start guide that is on our website. Um, and I'm just showing that right here. So you can see there's the FAA schema here, and I only have a single table called airline in there, um, which we'll see as soon as we start using the driver. Um, so after we have Cassandra and we have some sample data, the next step is to actually go and get the driver. So to do that, use your browser and go to www.simba.com. Go to the products section and go to Cassandra under connectors. And that'll open up this page. On the right hand side, there's a free trial section. Fill in the information, select your OS, and go try now. You'll be able to download and you'll have a license file emailed to you with instructions. I've already downloaded and installed the driver so we can go and configure that right now. To do that, go to the Start menu, open everything up, scroll to the Simba Cassandra ODBC driver. They'll say either the 32-bit ODBC administrator or the 64-bit ODBC administrator, depending on what you've installed. So we'll just open this up, move to the System DSN tab, and you'll see that a DSN is already being created. For those of you who don't know, a DSN is essentially a pre-configured connection string. Um, so you can set up uh, what host you're going to connect to, what port, username, credentials, and all that stuff, and do it once without having to re-enter it every time you make a connection. So we can select the sample one that's already been installed by the driver and just go configure. And we'll enter in the host. And the port, we'll leave it as the default. And then we can test. So we can see that we made a successful connection and it printed out the list of schemas that it found. So we can choose our catalog, which is also the schema or database in Cassandra. We'll choose the FAA one. Um, and now because Cassandra is a schema-less database um, and SQL and ODBC expect a fixed schema, we need to kind of um, define the schema that is already or is going to be used and displayed in things like Tableau. So we'll open up the schema definition section. And we can see that it's already got our airline uh, column family selected. And these are the columns that it's detected and the types that it's, that it's found. And it does this by sampling the data. So you can change the, the number of rows that it's sampling to try and determine the types. And you can see that here's the data, a sample of the data that um, is shown in that collection. So we can actually we can go and we can change the types that it's defined if it's not done it correctly. So we can change it to float. You can see that this isn't the right type, so that's not showing up correctly. So we'll just leave it as bar char right now. When you're done modifying the schema, just go OK and yes to save the schema to Cassandra. So there's a couple of advanced options you can play with. Um, just refer to the documentation for what those are, and you can play with them on your own. So right now, we'll just go OK, and we'll go OK to exit the administrator. So now the, the only thing left is to actually just hook up Tableau. So I'm using Tableau 8.2. If you're using Tableau 8.1 or prior, uh, it's going to look a little bit different, but the workflow is going to be generally the same. So go to the Connect to Data section and scroll to the very bottom, and there'll be an Other Databases ODBC option. Select that. Then from the DSN dropdown, select the DSN that we configured and go Connect. Make sure the DSN is selected. The information should be the same as we configured, so just go OK, and it will make a connection. Then OK. We want to choose our FAA database, and just hit the little magnifying glass to list all of the tables. You can see that I just have the one, and then drag it into uh, the table section here. You can see that it found the, um, the columns, and if we go update now, you can actually see a preview of the data. So we can go to our worksheet, and this is all being done interactively in Cassandra. 
So Tableau is sending SQL to the driver. The driver is translating that into calls into Cassandra and pulling back the data live. It's not pulling all of the data into Tableau and executing it in Tableau. It's actually doing it interactively. So let's see. We can do the carrier on the columns. This will just execute that request. Let's do the number of measures, or number of records, sorry. And we can find out which carrier is operating uh, the flights, the flight numbers. So you can see we changed this to table data. You can see that uh, each carrier is operating flight number two. And then we can also change the visualization. This one's kind of neat. You can see um, there's a section for each carrier which shows uh, how many flights it's doing for each flight number. So there you go. Um, you can do more complex SQL if you'd like, um, or more advanced visualizations if you're the Tableau expert. Um, but this is how you connect Tableau to Cassandra using the Simba ODBC driver for Cassandra. Thanks for watching. Note that the driver I showed today only supports CQL2. We have a new driver supporting CQL3 coming out soon. If you'd like more information, please visit www.simba.com.